We wanted to talk to you guys. Okay. Kevin Hanshard, play art. Graham Manson, co-creator, and John Fawcett, co-creator. I love the and I cannot figure out where was the inspiration for the show. Kind of how that rolls. Um, John, it was John and I, and it was originally John's evil concept that a girl would get off a train and see her doppelganger across the tracks. And in that moment, the double would commit suicide. That just got us talking, and we couldn't put it down. It couldn't put it down for 10 years, in fact. Trying to figure it out for 10 years, yeah. Um, and then it was Graham who came up with the concept of, uh, of clones and, uh, the, and really the further concept of nature versus nurture, which was kind of not something that we'd seen explored in, cl in clones before. And, and so that, that kind of led us to all these different women. Kasima, Allison, Sarah, very, very different women. And so that's that's sort of that's how it's sort of how this began all this began. Now you create such rich characters. I mean your character at first was not in the mess. And all of a sudden you sort of figured it out. What was that like what was the process for you to learn and figure it out as a character? Well, it's it's been a funny thing because I, I like to talk about the fact that I come from the theater, right? Where you get a play and you you read it and you know what's gonna happen at the very end and you get to plot the whole journey out. As far as this is concerned, we don't know what's down the line. So you read your scripts and you, you figure, you, you see what's happening in that episode, and you're going on the journey at the same time that the character is going on it, and you're growing with the character at the same time. So for me, it's just been, um, you know, nothing's, you know, uh, nothing's too big to happen, nothing's too small, and you just sort of take it day by day. Uh, and it's like life, right? So you just roll with it. It's been a fantastic journey thus far. This guy gets a real good season this year, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, the, the whole thing that's been happening, people sort of wonder, you know, why is art so invested in, in this whole mystery, right? And I think we sort of go back to the beginning in order to move forward and find out what's, what's going on, what's really making him tick and why he's so invested in it. We see a lot of that. And in that process, we see a lot of sort of uh, interactions with characters who he's never been able to interact with before. And uh, I think people are going to really dig it. It's, I know I had a good time doing it. We do, and that's kind of what makes the show, like every season it makes it kind of harder harder and harder to kind of write it's kind of it's it's it, 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 it's weird because someone said it, it's it's it gets easier yet harder every season and um uh, I think in season one, uh, we spent a lot of time setting up our kind of our big mystery and uh, and kind of broadly blazing through a lot of stuff that we knew that we were we were going to come back to. And season four is really about coming back to 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 ideas and um, concepts of season one and uh, and digging into kind of digging into the past, digging into our own mythology a little bit. Well, um, we've done a little bit of that in the past. Um, we did a little bit of that with uh, with Beth, I guess, last season. It was a little more dreamscapey, um, and uh, well, I guess we have some surprises. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Was yes. that wrong? <laughs> yeah. One of the things, because I always assumed you guys were European, that's why it was based in England. You guys are American, right? Canadian. We're Canadian. Canadian. Yeah. It's, in it's based in Canada. Wait, this show's in England. Toronto. No, no. It's based in it's Toronto. Canada. Yeah. Sarah, Sarah, and Felix are English expats, as is yeah. as is Mrs. S, but they live in Toronto. Yeah. I know. Uh, I always thought they lived in England. They're all English. Yeah. Well, now I've, I've been revealed something. I've never been to Toronto. 
Well, <laughs> well, you know, Canada is part of the British Commonwealth. I don't know. Maybe you got. Maybe that's what's confusing yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> She's talking about me, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I know. But even my castmates don't realize that my ears are pierced. And they see me, they're like, well, your ears are pierced. I'm like, they've been pierced for like 15 years, bro. How do you like the piercing? Uh, it's the makeup team, man. The makeup team is amazing. Yeah. And if you look close, you'll see them. Yeah. I think we should put some spreaders in there. And start, <laughs> we should. We should start, start stretching them out. No doubt. No doubt. Thank you. the mystery reveal. Yeah, you will get. People are gonna love it. Thanks. Thank you.